So since Jayla didn't get to go to her horse show, we wanted to make it up to her in some way. So we decided it would be fun to go out to World Equestrian Center. So we're gonna take you with us right now. Sometimes life's biggest storms give you the most beautiful rainbows. We are Chasing Rainbows. Welcome back to Chasing Rainbows. I'm Christina, if we haven't met before, welcome. Chasing Rainbows is all about life after infertility, miscarriage, and just walking through the storms of life and looking for those rainbows. It seems like one thing after another after another. Today I wanted to update you about Jayla's horse show. So if you watched this video, then you'll know that Jayla and I went shopping for new show clothes for her. She had a show that was supposed to be coming up. And then we got an email from that facility and they said that she would not be able to use one of their horses. And we didn't have a way or the funds to get a horse there for her, at least for this show. So this show is not gonna happen, which is really unfortunate. There was something else that came up too. Oh, we were offered the potential of half leasing a horse and she was very excited about that. And then we showed up for her lesson and they are literally right in front of us trying to um, sell this horse to someone else. So when we were watching the horse being shown right in front of us, I was mad in the moment, honestly. I was really upset. I was mad at God. I was mad at her trainer. I was mad like at the horse's owner. Like, A, we had this offer first. Like, why didn't we get this offer to come and see the horse, let her ride the horse? <laughs> and it was as soon as the rider got on the horse that I realized why God was saying no for us before we could even have the chance to make that choice or put Jayla on that horse. The horse completely lost control, was started trying to buck its owner off, its pregnant owner. This is why she was trying to lease the horse. And it was horrifying. And then the other girl got on it and it was doing the same thing. Much more green than what we need for Jayla. So since Jayla didn't get to go to her horse show, we wanted to make it up to her in some way. So we decided it would be fun to go out to World Equestrian Center. So we're going to take you with us right now. Come with us for a tour and check out the building. Watch some of the show with us. But while you're watching and you're watching these riders go, whatever it is that you're waiting for, that you're praying for, what can you do now to sit in God's presence and just trust him? And also, what can you learn from the wait? So many things to think about. Comment some of your thoughts down below about what things maybe you're waiting for. Um, maybe a light bulb moment that God shared with you in this video. Or you can comment on some of the riders you're about to see. And this facility is so cool. So I'm going to share more of that coming up. So don't tune out yet. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't done so already, and let's check out World Equestrian Center. World Equestrian Center is one of the largest indoor and outdoor equestrian centers in the United States. It has more than 200,000 square feet of climate controlled indoor competition space. That is separate from all the outdoor arenas that they have. It has areas to stable more than 800 horses, large grass paddocks, and so many unique accommodations. I think one of the favorite parts of this building is all the shopping, the spas. They even have their own chapel for worship services and youth groups. But one of the coolest things that we found to love, and I wish Jayla would be able to use this maybe one day, is their Ride Up Coffee Shop. Yes, instead of a drive through they have a ride through Who knew that you could ride through to get a coffee on your horse? I mean, that's just about the coolest thing ever. Anyways, after we finished walking around and we ended up finding our seat for the Grand Prix, we watched the riders get to walk the course before the competition actually started, which was interesting to see. And then they just took off. Man, some of the horses were so fast. 
and it was just crazy to see in person, especially just the speed and the sound of the horses' hooves hitting the ground as they would come by and jump right in front of you. It was absolutely crazy. Comment down below which one was your favorite horse or the coolest jump that you saw. So you think you were right? Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. The way I do, where I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between the watching some of the horse show with us. It was really exciting to see and a little bit scary. <laughs> if you want to stick around to see more horse videos and more just of our life, definitely again, hit subscribe, hit the bell and stick around until next time. And until then, I look forward to chasing more rainbows with you. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>